Their channel may be light and fluffy, but it's no joke. Nikki and Gabby DiMartino are 21-year-old YouTube sensations who have almost 5 million subscribers and over 418 million views. What started as a place to share their parodies and music favorites has since become a beauty vlog success. Today, the DiMartino sisters continue to reach new heights and expand their brand while still keeping a semblance of a normal 20-something life at the same time. Let's take a look at some facts you may not know about these beauty gurus. How It All Started Nikki and Gabby had a love for creating video content even before YouTube hit big. They told Cambio how it all started back in 2008. They would carry a webcam around the house making remakes, parodies, and cover band music videos. They loaded them up to YouTube in what would eventually become a beauty channel sensation. They explained to Teen Vogue that their original channel was called Double O Remake Girls, filled with just parody content. They noticed, however, the comments they were receiving were overwhelmingly beauty-related. How did they do their hair? How do they do their makeup? Nikki and Gabby saw this as an opportunity and created a separate channel called Nikki Gabby Beauty, which was eventually changed to its current title of Nikki and Gabby. Today, when you look at their YouTube page, they've combined everything they love from their different channels, from music videos to tutorials to DIY projects. After all, why should they have to choose one? A rocky start. The DiMartino twins continued to grow their fan base into the multi-millions, but when the duo started their videos, YouTube wasn't the sensation it is now. Speaking with YSB Now, the twins shared their experiences when first starting to create their video content. Back when we started, nobody did it, so everybody kind of like put us into this separate category and thought we were weird. And who seemed to struggle the most with understanding their interest in posting content? Nikki and Gabby's parents. As soon as the two high schoolers stopped being social, their parents knew something was up. They'd lock themselves in their rooms and film for hours. They would ask us, like, what are you doing? They thought we were wasting away our high school and not making memories, but here we had something in our head and we were working at it. Though their parents were worried about their lack of concentration on their studies, it all worked out in the end. Both girls are studying in college, while at the same time creating their content and expanding their well-known brand. Bad breakup leads to good music. After creating musical parodies for years, the DiMartino twins were ready to become original singers. Their song First was released on January 1, 2017, and during an interview with AOL, the girls opened up about the song's origins. Gabby explained that she worked on the song with a friend over the summer, trying to make it relatable to their age group. But after her sister suffered a bad breakup, she thought it might help. Turns out, it did. She calls me and goes, I just listened to this like five times, know all the words, this is my new favorite song, let's make this a single, let's do this. And I was like, oh my god, Like I didn't even think of it like that. It was a positive song that helped in a personal negative situation. Nikki elaborated on the song's power. Every girl should have this I feel song. like every girl life. needs this song. Every girl life. needs it. It's a feel good, be sassy, not sad song. And all their fans seemed to agree. Just a few weeks after the twins unveiled the song and music video on YouTube, the content had almost 4 million views. You go, girls! How they balance their busy lives Running a YouTube channel, being college students, having fun, keeping up relationships, the DiMartino twins are busy. Speaking with Glitter Magazine, the girls explain that they handle their busy schedule by planning ahead and creating an agenda. They schedule time for boyfriends, downtime, school studies, and of course, video creation. Gabby emphasizes that school is a top priority for them. Though they're both majoring in communications, Nikki's minoring in journalism, and Gabby has a special love for costume history. There's no question they'll one day bring their studies to their work and continue to create even more amazing projects. A day off? What would they do? Being so busy with school, boyfriends, family, and their business ventures, it makes you wonder when the DiMartino sisters have any free time to just have fun. Glitter Magazine asked just this question, what would Nikki and Gabby's perfect day off look like? Nikki said, not having anything to do. I'd get to sleep in until mid-afternoon and just lay around watching movies or TV shows, being cozy in bed, and just having a complete relaxing day. And as for Gabby, she doesn't mind leaving her bed, at least for part of the day. She told the magazine her perfect day off included, definitely going shopping with my friends, baking, or just lying in my bed watching old films, specifically my favorite, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Their tips for YouTubers So what do these YouTube pros suggest to those who want to take the same path and find success with their content? Gabby told AOL, Stay raw to who you are, don't try to be any other YouTuber but yourself, and upload constantly. Nikki added her own two cents as well, focusing on the idea that the content you post should be important to you. Being like passionate about what you're making and putting it up there and being proud of it and being yourself 100% is what's gonna really be successful because you have to be true to you. And even if you don't want to be a YouTube sensation, Nikki and Gabby give advice along those same lines to teens in general. They told Glitter Magazine, they understand how harsh kids can be in high school or middle school, but ultimately you'll realize that their opinions don't matter. They said, just to be you and not care what anyone else thinks. If you do you, you'll be happiest. At such a young age, Nikki and Gabby have found their calling and stayed true to themselves through it all. Can't wait to see what happens for them next. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.